I enjoyed the Korean romance film Sweet and Sour, that is better termed a relationship film, so much that out of the last 16 romantic movies I have reviewed on the channel, it is taking second place behind the Japanese film Love Like the Falling Petals. I say it should be termed a relationship film because my movie tier list is a romance tier list, and if it was a relationship tier list, Love Like the Falling Petals would need more thought. But because it is dorkily called the Meltometer, I only had it wrestle with Korean Sweet and Sour and the Philippines film Cuddle Weather. Be that as it may, I would not argue with someone who places Cuddle Weather higher. Love Like the Falling Petals is for the romance enthusiast, but Cuddle Weather and Sweet and Sour have more for those that do not care for the romance genre. Sweet and Sour is a multifaceted story. And if you love rom-coms, you will love the first 20 or so minutes. If you hate rom-coms, you still should watch this movie. Because after the first 20 minutes, the story dynamic changes, and it is more of a relationship movie. If you made it this far, thanks. And I want to let you know that even though I don't like it, I am willing to let you watch other romance movie reviews because, well, your happiness means everything to me. But I need a favor. If you care for me, watch this movie and let me know what you thought. I mean, it is my new number too. And okay, okay, you can look at other movie reviews of Sweet and Sour, but only after you've watched the movie. Okay? For me. Please. I love you.